So Danny Lee, ex-amateur of 130 bouts, ex-pro. You've run Greenick ABC for a long, long time. What, yeah. where, did, where did it all start? Was it obviously your dad, wasn't it? Yeah, my dad, my dad boxed the uh, stolen box, amateur professional. He boxed in the Olympics. He went to the 1960 Rome Olympics. Uh, With Ali? Uh, Ali was there, yeah. He met him. Uh, so, he was there and then, I never really thought about boxing until I turned 14 and uh, there was a boy in my class who wanted to, Frank Struthers, he wanted to, me to go with the, the boxing. Uh, so nothing, I just snowballed for there. I remember my old coach saying to me, well, who, should you do, who showed you them moves, who should you do it? And, but things just came off natural mm. and uh, yeah, everyone went for there. And there were 130 amateur fights, maybe just over that. Box for Scotland, Captain Scotland. Beat Paul Hawkinson. Yeah, that was a hard, that was a good fight. Scotland against England. World champion Liverpool. Yeah. Probably one of the most talented fighters ever from uh, Britain. He was that was a hard fight, good fight. Uh, I still get the watch shot. Uh, Timex watch they yeah. gave us. Uh, and uh, up in Dundee. What a fight it was. Everybody yeah. was standing at the end of the fight, you know. And uh, so obviously you went pro, you fought people like Donny Hood. So today we're in Greenock, amateur boxer club, very famous, probably most notable fighter, John Simpson. Yeah, uh, John, John's a talent, you know. John's a talent. I remember he came down to me one night, he was still boxing amateur, and uh, he asked me, he was thinking about turning four, and he asked me would I, asked me would I train him. And uh, so I took him up the ring, gave him a wee shot on the pads, and a few moves on the pads, and I said to him, I said, John, you'll be at least a British champion. And uh, I remember him looking at me and said, what, what do you mean? He couldn't believe it. So, uh, but I recognised then, you know, he, he had a lot of power. Uh, obviously, I'm, uh, I have a lot of followers from Middlesbrough, so John Simpson's name is very notable to what a lot of people from South Bank. He had the two famous fights for them. The Commonwealth featherweight title against Paul Truscott. You were in the corner yep. that night. Yep. What's your memories of the fight, Danny? Uh, I remember uh, the partisan crowd, the crowd was going nuts. Was it? Was... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the crowd was going absolutely nuts. And, uh, you know, and, uh, I remember people saying, oh, trust me, it's going to do something, you will do something. Yourself. Paul, Paul was a nice boxer, wasn't Paul he? Was. Paul was, but he was a nice guy as well. Yeah. But some, some of these uh, followers were... Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Game, yeah. You know, it's just and then, game. obviously, the first fight, I think on the scorecards, Truscott was up by one round. Yeah. Uh, clash of heads. Second fight. Yeah. John was too much, I think, was he? Yeah, stronger. Lovely body punches, you know. He's, just, he's killing everybody. His left took your body. Uh, same with. Uh, See me, Andy Morris, left to get head, left to get body, man. Unbelievable. Mm. The time when they took it, he won the British title against uh, Ryan Barrett. And then body shots, left to his left, and then we switched it. I mean, the fourth or fifth round, we're saying, look, we switch it. Mm. Right hand with solar plexus. Mm. Left to right, right up. Mm. I, I don't want to be disrespectful, because obviously John Simpson won the British title outright. But I get the feeling, mate, he, he underachieved for, for his ability. Would you say that was right? Absolutely. John should have been at least at least a, a European champion. Yeah. Uh, but there we come from, different things, different things. He turned his head different yeah. ways, you know. Uh, I was further falling out with him, tell him, try to keep him. But uh, there was different... Bo boxers are hard work, aren't they? <laughs> Unbel no problem in the gym. Yeah. John Samson was one of the best trainers in the gym. But was he? Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. He's trained 10, 12 rounds, do you end, end you ask them. As soon as you've been out, you know, it's a mental man. Radio rental. That's a, I used yeah. to get phone calls all the time, so you're John Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You, you yeah you've got to be more than a coach, and you be the yeah, dad, the protector yeah. and all yeah. that. Danny, absolute pleasure, mate. I'll see you at a name with Fallon Thompson tonight. Yeah, no problem.